Hey guys, so next up we're doing a dynamic tape for the knee. Um, so this is similar in role to your McConnell's taping. I just find the dynamic tape is a little bit more versatile and tends to stay on a little bit better, especially in sports where you're getting down into full squat or lunging positions. Um, so all you need is three strips. I use about uh, four box lengths, so it's about 20 centimeters in length. Pre-cut and pre-cut the corners so they're nice and rounded. Now you can either do a, a sort of more minimalistic or a full version. A minimalistic one, all you need is one strip and it just starts down at the base of the shin. Stick on the first bit, stretch up across the VMO and attach. To keep going with the full one, which I usually do on most patients, is doing them one on the outside portion. Stretching up and attaching but we want another one to go on the medial because the main thing we want to do is activate this VMO. So if you're really focused on just activating the VMO, you can just apply the two medial strips just through here to try and get this VMO to activate more to, in essence, pull the kneecap across, similar to what your old style McConnell taping would do. However, I like to add a lateral one if you've got any problems with your patella tendonitis or some impingement syndrome or fat pad issues below the knee, just because it helps support that area and you need to have the tape crossing over that area to support it.